Okay, so here we are. We're just about ready to start sewing our teddy bear. We are now on step nine. At this point, you should have the front of your teddy bear. You should have two inner ears. You should have a muzzle and two foot pads. If you get the muzzles and the foot pads mixed up, it doesn't matter because they are all the same size. So now we are going to properly place the patterns where they go. So you always put the inner ears down from the top, down from the top. So you wanna see the color of your teddy bear. They should not be up on the edge of the teddy bear inner ears. They need to come down. You take your foot pads and they come up from the corner, up from that foot or corner and your muzzle, what I do is I, you have your paper pattern and I basically put it right underneath or I kind of look at the neck area and place the muzzle right in the middle there. So you go across here and that way your two eyes, you don't want it up too far and you don't want it down too far. So basically right towards the middle, I'm gonna take my pattern, lift it up, and basically the circle is right underneath. At this point, you will be sharing a pin cushion or a magnet. I don't have a pin cushion available right now, but during class, the students will be sharing both of those. So just like we pinned the paper pattern onto the teddy bear, we're gonna now pin our felt pieces through the front of our teddy bear. So I'm gonna start, again, pushing down and bringing up. You want to make sure that your needle is through the long ways of the ear because we cannot sew through a pin. So remember, I want to see the edge of my brown. I chose a brown bear with like a turquoise or teal color for my inner ear, my muzzle, and my foot pad. So I'm going to take here a little bit down. So remember, when you sew, you're going to lose a little bit of that edge. I'm going to then pin my muzzle. And then my foot pads. So now I've pinned my felt foot pads, my muzzle, my inner ears to the front side of my bear. All patterns should be cut at this point. At this point in school, I will make sure you have the inner ears down a little bit, your muzzle towards the middle, and the foot pads up. I will come around and then sign off, and then we will all turn to the next page and we will go over step number 10 and you will begin sewing today. Sewing the inner ears with the running stitch. Just remember, you're gonna keep your stitches small and close together. So this is what your bear should look, back, look like at this point. That's the end of step nine and nine A.